Hello, LightWave users. Here is yet another tutorial. I'm jazzed up about LightWave because I heard that the new version 9.5 is coming out and it's going to have awesome stuff like uh, built-in hair and fur and new uh, character animation tools. Should be fantastic. I'm looking very much forward to it. Let me show you how to um, create and save poses for your object using a free plugin. And um, I'm going to switch to rotate mode. Why? Shift F7 to go to local coordinates mode. And uh, let's go to his hand here and look at his hand. Because uh, General Grievous has six fingers and um, I don't want to have to keep posing them over and over again. I mean, really, your hand, there's only really certain key poses that you can get into. So I want to save the different poses that his hand can be in. And then when I want him to pose his hand in certain frames, I'm just going to double click on a pose name and his hand will snap to those those frame, those uh, poses. Um, that's going to save me a lot of time when I do my character animation. So the um, first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go to Master Plugins and uh, I've already loaded this plugin called Pose Saver. So if you go to Flay and do a search for Pose Saver um, you'll be able to find this. Double click on that and this very simple thing comes up. Um, I'm going to select General Grievous as the mesh that we're going to use for the poses. I'm going to use set pose and I'm just going to use the rotation in this case. You could use the position, the rotation, and the scale if you wanted to. Um, <clears throat> okay, I'm going to select these. I found a new uh, quick little thing. I'm, I've selected uh, some bones here. I'm only going to select the finger bones because if I select the hand bones, or the actual this bone here that, that, that rotates the hand, um, his hand is going to snap into place as well. And I only need the fingers really for these poses. So I'm going to drag with my middle mouse and then hold shift and then if you click at the the root of a chain of bones with your right mouse button it, it selects everything all the child items so that will save you a lot of time so now I'm gonna use this as sort of like a like a base um, a base pose here my normal pose so this is my left hand so I'm gonna call this pose L normal and record the pose All right now with all these things selected uh, I love this feature in Lightwave. I'm just going to grab the uh, the heading there and I'm going to curl those in because all the rotations are additive. They all ro all the bones rotate at the same time and now I have a fist so I'm going to call that L fist. I'm going to record it and now let's go to this guy here and I'm going to straighten this one out and I'm going to straighten this one out a little bit and uh, let me go ahead and reselect all these finger bones. I should have kept those selected before, but okay. And I'm going to call this L pointing and record the pose. All right. So now, even without those bones selected, I don't have to uh, select those bones. If I want to get those poses back, I just double click on these, and they're. Uh, the poses are, uh, all the uh, items are rotated for me exactly the way I wanted them to. If I go here and I want to make a fist, <clears throat> and I go here and I want them to point, and then I go here and I want them to go back to normal, all I do is just double click on those things, and uh, as long as I've got that thing, so, so I could be working with an entirely different object, and um, just double click on those, and those poses are created, and as you can see, I've done um, a bunch of character animation in like a few seconds. And um, <clears throat> the nice thing about this too is that you can go ahead and save the pose list as something in, it uses this PSL format. Uh, it's really just a text file. <clears throat> and you can save that anywhere you want. And then later on when you um, open up your, uh, your scene, you can go ahead and load those poses. You can add to the poses, edit them, you can delete them. And uh, <clears throat> so it's an extremely useful tool. Um, if you're doing some character animation and you wanted, you could do whole body poses if you wanted. Um, I usually use it just for the hands and things like that. But uh, I hope you get uh, some use out of this tool. Go to Flay, download it, and um, go to, go to New Tech site, read their article about um, the new features in 9.5. I hope uh, the new features come out to uh, be very useful.